show you something different today. Uh, so I'm going to show you one of our family favourites. It's a chili beef, a take on a chili con carne. It's one of my all-time favourite recipes. So come on over here and I'll show you what how we got started on this. So in this pan we have um, one onion sliced, one carrot diced and four cloves of garlic. Now they're just cooked slowly until they're starting to brown on a nice low heat. And in this pan we're going to brown the beef. So I like to brown the beef in a separate pan. That way it, it gives a nice, you get a nice crust in the, in the beef. And then you can add it to this pan as you go along. I just set it in the pan, a little bit of salt, let it go flat. And a bit of salt and a bit of pepper is all you need. Now just leave it like that for a little bit until it gets a nice crust on it. And then we can add all this to the... Now I always make this recipe in bulk. So I have a kilo of meat here today. I've already browned this off. So, but whenever I make it, because it's so delicious, I would freeze it down in containers, portion it down, put it in the freezer and pop it out, ready to use whatever you need it to. So, to this, I'm going to add this beef I've already browned. So that's three batches I've done this in. So, this pan, that's all going to go in there. And I'm going to add some red wine into this pan for the last cook, just to lift off the flavours. Now I know it's a bit smoky, but I really want to get a nice sear on this. Okay, now I'm going to add to this pan 300 milliliters of red wine. Just going to bring that up to the boil. And just let that reduce and cook into the beef. I will stir all this, you can see all those flavours from the, all the juices from the beef getting in there. And that, then once we've got the rest of the beef in, I'll go through all the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so if you come over here, we'll start with the ingredients. So, I'm going to use a little bit of dried oregano, some chipotle flakes, smoked chipotle flakes, beautiful, they make all the difference to this curry, they really do, and some smoked paprika. So. We'll start off with a teaspoon of oregano, nice generous teaspoon, and then we're going to go with a tablespoon of chili, of smoked paprika, I'm sorry not smoked paprika, but the chipotle chili flakes, and then two teaspoons of smoked paprika, oh, I'm get myself some more of that. Now, we just really want to cook these for a second, just let all those flavours release. You can really smell, as soon as those smoked chipotle flakes hit the pan, you can really smell that coming through. So, we're going to add the red wine and the rest of the beef into here. And then we're going to start putting the rest of the ingredients together. So a little bit, about a tablespoon of tomato paste goes into that. And you let that stir through, give it all a good mix. Now I'll turn the heat up on this, and then I'm going to get the rest of the ingredients. So there's two tins of tomatoes, you can really use any tomatoes you want. That's um, all I could get today was uh, cherry tomatoes, which are delicious. And then 500 milliliters of chicken stock. And then the secret ingredient to this that makes all the difference is four shots of espresso coffee. Just coffee straight out of the espresso machine. It really does give a beautiful, deep, rich, bitter, smoky taste to it. And then we're just gonna do some uh, kidney beans. Kidney kidney beans. Really just drain all the liquid and rinse them off and they go straight in there. And that is as simple as it is. Now that goes in, I bring that up to the boil. As soon as that starts coming to the boil, I cover with a lid and I pop it into the oven at 150.
and leave it there. Leave it there for about three to three and a half hours and then it'll be perfect. Sometimes I just lift the lid off for the last 30 minutes so that uh, it evaporates and all the juice reduces and thickens. But come back and we'll see what it's like in three hours time. Well, welcome back. It's been just over three hours now. The chili's been in the oven at 150 degrees. Um, I've stirred it a couple of times just to give it a check through. I, halfway through the cooking process, I chopped up two of these little bird's eye chilies chopped them up finely and threw them in just because I like things with a little bit of bite and a little bit of spice to it. I just felt it needed it for me. But you can make it as mild as you wish. So, here it is. <clears throat> the lovely chilli. Oh. And there you go, you can get all those beautiful smells, that steep rich flavours of the smoked chipotle, the coffee really coming through there. Oh, it's absolutely delicious. Now tonight, there's so many ways you can serve this. Tonight, um, we're gonna have it. I've made a lovely spicy Mexican rice. We'll have it with that. A little bit of guacamole, a little bit of sour cream. Jake's gonna have his in a burrito because he, he misses his bullion and he loves his, he loves his burrito fix. But you can have this in a baked potato, a baked sweet potato. You can put it over nachos and a bit of cheese grated on top of it. And it's actually quite healthy. It's, it's all full of goodness. and. You can just really serve it whatever way you suit. So enjoy guys, do try this one at home.